Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Amira Shazi from Alexandria University, Egypt. I'm going to present a conceptual view for an enhanced cloud software lifecycle process model. The objectives of the presentation are to show the importance of the problem, establish the motivation for the proposed work, present the conducted work, pinpoint the contribution of the work, and suggest future extensions. These objectives are going to be fulfilled through the following agenda. The agenda is divided into six parts. The problem statement, the need to extend existing work, the proposed conceptual view for an enhanced cloud software lifecycle process model, case study, conclusion, and future work. Let's start with stating the problem statement. Cloud computing provides many opportunities and advantages for the software industry. Small to medium enterprises are the most benefited from these advantages. Therefore, these enterprises require a well-defined software process model to develop reliable and good quality cloud-based software in view of their limited resources. That covers the first objective of showing the importance of the problem. Let me move on to the second item, which is the need to extend the existing work. The existing work of process models of cloud software can be classified into co two classes, consumer-specific cloud software process models and process models of SaaS. The need to extend the existing work is for the following reasons. First one, there are different types of cloud software development, such as SaaS, FAS, and developing uh, private software for a specific consumer. In many cases, the development of a private cloud software application is achieved by hybrid cloud software that uses SaaS and FAS. Therefore, there is a need to propose a cloud software lifecycle process model that addresses the use of different types of cloud software in the same application. Also, small to medium enterprises need to develop cloud software with good quality and at low cost. That can be achieved by adjusting the Egyptian software process improvement model to suit cloud development environment and by using some process areas of the compatibility maturity model integration. Also, development in cloud environment involves many important decisions. The process of making decisions and choosing between the different alternatives need to be studied and documented in a separate phase. The needs and business environment uh, changes rapidly. Consequently, in many cases, there is no need for some features and components. Therefore, there is a need for a retirement phase to dispense with these components and scale down the acquired resources. Finally, using the cloud computing environment involves many challenges and risks. To treat uh, the different uh, risks in both proactive and reactive manner, there is a need for a risk management process area along the cloud software lifecycle. To this point, we have established the motivation for the proposed work. Now I'd like to explain the proposed conceptual view for an enhanced cloud software lifecycle process model. The model starts with identifying the business goals and eliciting the initial requirements. Then ask a question, are there any ready-made software as a service or function as a service for any enlisted requirements? The answer goes to two tracks. Track A, there are software as a service or phase for the requirements. Track B, there aren't any SAS or phase for the listed requirements. Let's start the track A. Survey the available providers for SAS or FAS. Then, for each service, compare the providers based on 
the service level agreement host features law and regulations and the results of risk analysis then prioritize the providers and choose the uh, appropriate service provider and acquire the service then and integrate the acquired uh, service with the previously developed artifacts or acquired uh, SAS or FAS and perform integration testing. The result of integration tested could be failure or success. In case of failure, identify the cause of integration failure and rework. The rework could be redesign uh, the component that caused the integration failure or re-implementing the component that caused the integration failure. In case of success, we have three tracks. To monitor the acquired service and deploy the integrated artifacts and specifying the service level agreement for the developed uh, SAS or FAS. In monitoring pass, the monitoring result could be stability in quality and cost and low and regulation uh, didn't uh, change. In this case, continue using the SAS or FAS and continue monitoring it again. In case of any instability or lack of quality, rising cost or a change in law or regulations, change the use the SAS or FAS and start POS A again. Or we could uh, implementing that service as a new requirement and add it to POS P. In POS P, prioritize the listed requirements and specify the requirement that has the highest pr uh, priority. Then we go in parallel in two paths, path C and path D. In path C, start the analysis and, uh, and design of the specified requirements. In path D, define the needed resources, platforms, uh, skills and rules of the development team members and survey the available infrastructure as a service or uh, platform as a service providers and for each service provider compare them based on the service level agreement cost features law and regulations and results of the risk analysis next prioritize the providers and choose the appropriate service provider and acquire the chosen uh, infrastructure as a service or platform as a service provider and start the implementation then perform component testing the results of component testing could be failure or success in case of failure re-implement the component that caused failure or redesign it in case of success integrate the implemented uh, requirement or component with the previously uh, developed or acquired services and perform integration testing. And in case of success, deploy the, uh, the artifacts and start the operation process. In operation process, the end user starts using the software and submit feedback. The, re uh, the feedback uh, lead us to three process, uh, maintenance, Retirement of unused components or a change or occurrence of new requirements. In case of a changing or occurrence of new requirements, add them back to the uh, priority list of requirements in pause uh, P, P1. And in case of uh, maintenance, uh, the maintenance uh, could lead us to uh, reanalysis and redesign of a component based on the feedback or re-implementing the uh, component and start from B3. Now let's move on to the case study. A real-life case study is used as a proof of concept for the proposed model. 
The case study is a cloud uh, e-commerce web application. It's an online shop for many products. User can browse uh, the showed products, read its details, add products to e-cart, and uh, change the quantity of the products in the e-cart. The application calculates the value of the order. The application was implemented uh, on a private cloud acquired from Amazon Web Services uh, to produce a pr uh, the application. Uh, various components were integrated such as SAS, FAS, and database as a service. For authorization and authentication requirements, AWS Cognito was used as uh, SAS uh, for storing the data of products and orders. Amazon DynamoDB was used for implementing functions AWS Lambda function and AWS API uh, Gateway was acquired. I think now we have a good understanding of the conducted work. So the third objective is achieved. This leads us to the following conclusion. The CLCP model is compatible with levels 2 and 3 of the CMMI model. So, applying the CLCP model in small to medium sized enterprises shall improve its maturity level. Therefore, time spent on training members of the various development teams uh, to use the model uh, would improve the quality, cost, time of producing cloud based software. Consequently, Using the CLCP model can aid small to medium enterprises to develop cloud-based software with their limited resources and with good quality. To this stage, I pinpointed the contribution of the work. Finally, I will talk about the future work. The detailed CLCP model will be described. The description will illustrate the phases and activities listed in each process area for every phase in detail. The roles of the team members and the produced artifact will be explained in the detailed CLCP model. To sum up, I achieved all the ad uh, objectives. First, I showed the importance of the problem, then established the motivation for the proposed work. Next, presented the conducted work and pinpointed the contribution of the work. Finally, suggested future extensions. Thank you very much for listening. You can contact me on this email.